back again. It's Sunday. Yes, finally Sunday is here. The opening Sunday of NFL games is here. We did have one on Thursday, the Patriots and the Chiefs. Chiefs ended up winning that game. Uh, but Sunday is here, the big day for all the games. My Vikings still don't play till tomorrow, so that's a little sad. So i got to wait till tomorrow night at like 6 o'clock to watch that game. But the NFL is here. The games are here. Fantasy is going to start today. we got to get our players lined up here quick. Check the lineups. Make sure we got everything right. Everybody locked in for games today. So we're going to go over that quick and uh, make, their, make sure things are good. So here we go. we got the Celtics RKG Gaming um, Fantasy League. Uh, look at it quick. I'll show you, I did do one, I think I picked up one guy and dropped somebody, uh, we'll go down here, yeah, I dropped Carson Wentz and picked up the rookie wide receiver, Corey Davis, uh, he's projected for 10.7 this week, I'm not going to start him, I just picked him up because it's like, uh, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling this guy could have a breakout season, he's going to be probably number one or two wide receiver on that team, and he's going to need, he's going to get some, Mariota likes to uh, throw the ball around, so I'm hoping he's uh, going to have a big season, so I picked him up just in case. Uh, now, sadly, I did not have Kareem Hunt. Uh, if anybody drafted Kareem Hunt because they're like, man, I know this guy's going to be special, he's going to break out, well, hats off to you. I didn't didn't think he's going to have a game like he did. He had a heck of a game, and uh, yeah, congrats to him on that game, but I didn't have him, so sad deal about that. In other news, Ezekiel Elliott did end up getting, uh, he's playing week one, his... Uh, I guess he's going to be playing for the whole season, it sounds like now. So if you draft Ezekiel Elliott like late in the like third or fourth round, congrats to you because you just made a super great steal right there, which I drafted him in a lot of my leagues because I felt like his suspension was going to get knocked down to maybe like three games. And even after that, he's still going to be a beast when he comes back. And I don't need him for those first three games necessarily. So looking at the starting lineup, we're going with Matt Ryan, obviously. I'm not feeling Derek Carr. Even though they are projected for about the same there, you can see. Derek's projected for just 1.1 last. But i got to go with Matt Ryan against the Chicago Bears defense. That's i got to do that. DeMarco Murray starting at the other running back. 15.1 he projected for. There's nobody else even close on their bench that I'd want to go with. There's Ezekiel Elliott. He's projected for 18.8. That's nice. Julio Jones is projected for 17.1. Larry Fitz for 15. Greg Olson for 13.9. Stefan Diggs in my flex for 13.4. He's going against the New Orleans Saints defense secondary. Their secondary is pretty trash. This is a questionable one. I mean, it's who else do you go with? Any of these other guys on the bench? And yeah, none of those guys are really jumping out with me. I'm feeling this. Keep up, keep Stephon Diggs there. Okay, we got the Vikings defense and special teams. I drafted that. That's probably not a great play against the against that Saints offense. But looking at it, I mean, last year they were pretty good. They they got a lot of a lot of defense and special teams touchdowns. So we're gonna stick with that. We got Justin Tucker as the kicker, only kicker. So yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else on the bench that we're gonna need to swap around in there for. So I think we're gonna be. Uh, happy with this matchup. I think all my players are playing today except for my two Vikings which are playing tomorrow. So uh, we'll go check the box score. I want to see who our matchup is against. Okay, Team Buckeye number eight. His Ohio State Buckeyes lost last night. Did you see that game? That was a crazy game. They were balling out there. Okay, he's already had a few guys play. He's projected for 88 and I'm projected for 125. He's got. He's only got six left. I got nine to play. So feeling good about that. Tom Brady gave him 10.7. Tom Brady had a really bad first game. I'm kind of. I mean, I'm, yeah, he's going to bounce back, obviously. But Brandon Cooks dropped 11.8. That's not bad. I'm sure, he's projected for more, but that was pretty good. And his Patriots defense went for negative four. So he's at 18.5 right now. I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty comfortable. And I, nobody on his bench that scares me that he's going to switch around. So I'm definitely feeling good about. Uh, about this match, I, I think we can I think we can pull this one out pretty easily. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and don't forget. Anything is possible.